what's up this your boy quasi mo coming at you with another video tutorial now i know it's been a while but you know a lot of good things are worth the wait in today's tutorial i'm gonna show you how to rewire your vsts in reason but to do that you're going to need a uh, digital audio workstation such as cubase logic pro tools studio one or uh, Ableton Live, or even Fruity Loop, whatever that, whatever host that could actually have a uh, rewire capabilities, that's what you can use. Even Reaper can do it. So, um, with that being said, the first thing you want to do is launch the host application first. So, in, in this tutorial, we're going to go with Cubase first. I'm going to do a range of tutorials to show you how to do it in Pro Tools, Logic, Studio One pretty much most of the dolls that I own um, so those video tutorials for all the other platforms you can go and view them on my channel so the first thing you want to do is load up Cubase let's create an empty project all right next thing you want to do is go to devices in Cubase and click Reason Rewire. Then this little box right here will pop up. So let's go ahead and activate mix left and right, which is these two channels. You're activating the outputs that's coming from Reason into Cubase. So this is left and right. And now we want to open up Reason. Okay, so once Reason is open, first thing you're gonna check is just to make sure that Reason is in slave mode, rewire slave mode. In order to do this, you wanna scroll up into the rack view and look on the hardware interface. You'll see it says rewire slave mode is active. That's exactly what we wanna see. So now any audio that's coming from Reason is now being passed through Cubase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a project just to show you how I would route the individual tracks to Cubase to apply to VST. I just created this beat, uh, you know, like yesterday actually, and uh, I uploaded it to the Propeller Head website so you guys can go check that out. I have the link in the description below. So now if I press play, well, let me resize this. Now if I press play, I should get audio signal. So we're definitely getting an audio signal. But right now, I'm getting all the audio as one stereo file. So in order to change that, what you would have to do is go back into the rack, press tab, go to your hardware interface, and let's just view audio I.O. So right now, we got one and two, which is one and two. So I wanna connect, disconnect that from the uh, master section. So the first instrument in my rack that I have, I'm going to send that to the hardware interface, one and two. The next one, Send it to three and four. And then the following five and six. And then the last two seven and eight. So I have those being sent in 
to all the right assigned. Now we have to just activate it in cubic. So I'm gonna activate three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So now when I play the reason, uh, now when I play it, all of the individual elements should be coming through in cubic. So from here, it's just pretty much now loading the VSTs on the inserted channels. So what I would do, I would link these channels in Cubase, like just stereo link them. So I would link three and four, link select the channel, volume everything. Link five and six. Let's link seven and eight. Okay, so now that all of them linked, whatever I do here will automatically affect what I do to the other track. Except for pan. So I'm going to pan these out left and right because we want the stereo fill. just apply the VSTs now so if I click here and just go to a waves let's go to a uh, channel strip plugin and let's load a SSL console bring up just bring up the highs a little bit Dri like drastically so you can hear that the effect is actually being applied to the audio signal and reason. And I mean, that's pretty much it. You can do that to every channel and all the channels that you have linked will automatically apply the same effect. Well, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, that's fine too. You can dislike it. Uh, if I'm doing something wrong or if you think I should be, you know, there's an easier way of doing this, by any means, comment below and I will definitely reply. Thanks for watching. It's Quasimo and I'm out.